Okay, I want to make a second video um, in a row, kind of. But I was just thinking, I, I feel like I'm kind of like on this, like, kind of a journey into my mind kind of thing, you know? It's so weird, but I keep doing it, and I'm realizing that you, people, are guiding, are like guiding me along this. Like the pe the world, the people, humanity over the internet, just ever, all of us, like, I feel like people are guiding me by saying what they think about stuff. Like, all, I, I was reading the comments on this reluctance video, and people are saying, like, it's not, in what you're doing with Thomas, it's not interesting, I want you to continue, Peter, Peter Schrey Fogel, P-E-T-E-R-S-C-H-R-E-Y, pause it and type in his name into the search box, you can go to his page, I guess, I don't know if you and uh, said, I would want to, I would want that you continue to evolve your philosophy and point that down. He said, your dispute with Thomas is not very interesting to me. I would want you to continue your, to evolve your philosophy and point that down. I totally like to watch people in this process, and you were very continuous in it. And that's what I want to do. I just want to continue the process. I don't want to get off track. Because what happened was Thomas came at me with a lot of anger, and I wasn't expecting it. And I didn't really know how to react. So I didn't really say much. I was just like, dude, you're really angry. And then it, he did it again. He took my video, my response video, and he, he this is really obnoxious. I wish people would stop doing this. It's not accomplishing anything on YouTube. It's not accomplishing anything. Taking the first video and playing it over and talking about point by point, that's not constructive. Because it's, it's a one-sided conversation. It's almost giving an illusion of a conversation as if it's a debate. And it's, but it's just one-sided, you know? It's, 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 it's not genuine. So, you know, I see that, and Thomas did that, and then he did another one where he was really angry again. I was like, no more. I don't know. I just, I guess I pushed myself to say something. I got angry, and I wish I didn't really get it. I didn't get angry, but... It's, I only got angry because I held it in. Should have just said something about it immediately. In fact, I want to have a conversation with Thomas with you. Um, I'm just my brother's in town, and it's been I haven't had any video conversation in a few days. I'm kind of thinking I want to get to know Michael. He's like seven years younger than me. So when I left for college, he was like 12 or 11. That was crazy. I remember coming back, and he just like got big. I wonder if I'm getting like thinking about my past because Michael's here. I bet I am. So anyway, that's what's amazing about this is the people of the world are guiding me on this. And that's what we each receive from YouTube, doing the videos and like exploring ourselves. The world will guide us. People, humanity will guide us and, and humanity will never fail. I believe that. I think we're a race that fucks up on, on the road, but never stops. It's kind of like, we're kind of like cockroaches in that. Like termites, or cockroaches, or like a nasty fungus on this planet, unfortunately right now, and that's got to fucking change. Just because we, we grow and perpetuate ourselves doesn't mean that we can't do it right. Or that's not right, but can't do it in like a safe manner for the, everything around us. Like, why do we have to poison stuff? Maybe it's because we're so afraid as a race. Because we have no idea, we're just like just like the deer who shit on the ground and walk around, and that's not very sanitary. <laughs> so it's the consciousness that we have that we can do something about it with. I want to, um, I want this, and I was thinking about it, and so I guess I'll just say it, but I'm kind of nervous to say it, but I want to, like, I want to talk to someone in the government. I want to have, a, like, a real communication, like, conversations with people in the government because my buddy Michael was just saying he thinks the government's not really involved personally with the people. It's very bureaucratic in a way. There's a lot of lines drawn and, it, and I think any government, good government, should be on some level of, everybody within the government should be on some level of open communication with somebody in civilian life. You know, if it's their family, that's good. But, you know, why not more people than the family? The family's pretty easy. But, like, go outside. You have to keep... You can't shut people out. No one can. Even people in the government. Because we're all just people trying to make this country work together. So I want to have a conversation with someone in the government. I don't know how 
I guess just make videos and say it. Maybe someone will see it and send it to somebody. That would be awesome. In, like, the federal government. I want to... I, I want to make things work better. I want to help. I want to at least say what I think about it and for people to listen. Because that's what helping is. You can't make people do stuff. I don't want to... You can't. You can't. I mean, you can't effectively make people do stuff. I don't want to make people do things. Dude, I'm, like, spewing videos out tonight because of this conversation I had earlier with Christina and Jose. It was, like, so intense. I had a good conversation just now with Michael. So that's what I want. I want to have a conversation with President Bush, with George. George Bush. I, I'm sure he's cool as fuck. I'm positive of it. Like, I watch him talk, and I think, like, I would like hanging out with him, but I think he's not listening to people. It gets, you know, you get to a point of power. Like, I'm experiencing it now with all these subscribers. Like, I have, like, 39 unread messages right now in my mailbox, so sorry about that. But it's, you know, it's you have to balance it out. And it doesn't mean I'm not going to communicate, but it just means you have to balance it out. And I think it, that's what... You know, the more power you get, the more people that are trying to talk to you, the harder it gets to balance it out. So, like, the president, it's easy to get to freak out and just, like, kind of shut people out. But it shouldn't happen, because if it happens, we're in trouble. When the people in charge sh start to shut people out, we're in trouble. We get people like, I'm not even going to say it. Everyone's the same. Everyone experiences it. So I want to avoid that. And I want you, the people that I talk to in my life, you, the, my, my, my friends in Los Angeles that I know, that I, on a daily basis, like personally, I guess this is personal, isn't it? But this, this is what I want. And I want you to tell me if it's, if it's getting out of whack. If I'm getting out of whack. Because I can feel myself like, kind of like unstable. But that's okay, you know, life is not about stability. Life is about trying to, you know, make, I don't know, make it work. I don't know what it's about. I don't know. But, like, make the planet work a little better. Stop killing. I think it's, I think it's possible, totally. I mean, we, we just got to be able to relax with each other, and I think we just got to, whether or not people even realize it's happening, English is going everywhere over the Internet because the Internet's just combining everyone. Information, the internet has got to be everywhere in people's, people, every human being on earth, I think, should have access to the internet. It's unfair to keep that knowledge from people. And this should be a priority. This should be a priority in this country. I know Bill Gates, Microsoft gives a lot of computers. They like funded, a, I don't know if it was a country in South America or, or a state or, I think they funded a country or schools or something with computers and internet. I'm not the only one that thinks this. Thank God Bill and Melinda Gates are who they are. They, I got the Time Magazine that uh, Bono and Bill and Melinda Gates were people of the year. And that was what inspired me. I, I read about it online, and that was what inspired me to subscribe to the uh, Time Magazine. So now I have them here. And there's actually an article on YouTube in it, this last one. Uh, I think it's God versus Science. It's interesting. They talk about a cultural revolution in it. They say they have geriatric. They have a picture of him. And they talk about him, Peter. That's awesome, Peter. Congratulations, man. That's really fucking cool. Okay. Oh, this is long. <sighs> I think I think I'm gonna go hang out with Michael. We can take a break from YouTube. This has been a really intense couple days, week, five days, an intense life, the last, see, I'm going to go play video games with Michael, see, am I just rationalizing, I feel like I'm rationalizing, not hanging out with him, but just playing video games, I'm going to go talk to him, bye guys, thank you.